Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy at Belva here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the basics of the Elgato Game Capture HD software. So if you do have a MacBook, if you are having issues running into stream, running Streamlabs, OBS, anything like that, this video is going to help you guys, you know, show you what I use personally when I do my streaming, which is the Game Capture HD software. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a like. Actually, just hit the like button right now because you're already here, all right? You made it to this video, so go ahead and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Last thing I want to bring up is I did have somewhat of an, um, an audio issue when editing this video as I had a lot of background noise. I noticed that my fan on my computer was blowing a lot louder than usually does, uh, so I had to fix that in some way with software with uh, Final Cut Pro X and uh, you know, I did the best I could. You guys will notice it when it happens, it happens. Hey, I hope you guys still enjoy this video. Let's get it going. So first, when you open up the uh, Game Capture HD software, the first thing you're gonna see in your, device, in your devices section should be the actual capture card that you're using. If you're not, if you don't have it plugged up, pl plug it up. Um, Cause I don't, I don't know why you don't have it plugged up. Just, just plug the thing up. Next, okay, cool. So when you click on that, you actually can have something like your iPhone um, show up there as well. And you have the ability to switch between the two. So if you wanted to just switch between the two real quick, we'll give this a second to load. Any minute now, any minute now, any minute now. Any minute now. Two thousand years later. Okay, there we go. Now, now you can see. Um, now I'm just displaying what's on my iPhone currently. Next, um, we're just gonna switch it back to the Elgato Game Capture HD 60s, and we're just gonna move right along. The next step um, is going to be for the game audio. So whatever sound, I'm just gonna move around my mouse here, and you can see the sounds of the Nintendo Switch clicking back and forth, uh, showing up in the game audio section there. And you can just control how loud you want it to be by moving it, obviously, one way or the other way to have no sound at all. All right, awesome. Next is gonna be the live streaming section. This is gonna be very important for you guys um, when it comes to your live streaming. So first off, we're gonna talk about the bit rate. This is gonna be basically based off of how much um, upload speed you can actually upload. This is gonna be the maximum that you can choose from right here. So you have the option of going all the way to 0 0.50 megabits per second, all the way up to eight megabits per second um, upload. So depending on what your ISP uh, provider provides you guys, um, definitely choose whatever is the best for you. Um, you might have to do some test streams just to see what is going to work for you. But all in all, this is gonna be um, what you need for your upload speeds and then using those tests, you can kind of figure out what's gonna be the best uh, for you in the stream based off your um, upload speeds. Your account, I already have one of my accounts set up right here on Twitch. If you do wanna add one or if you, know, you don't actually have one to begin with, you can go ahead and click this plus button here and this is gonna give you uh, a few options to choose from, You know, the most popular being YouTube and Twitch. By the way, you can follow me on my Twitch. I stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We have a good time. Alrighty, so uh, shameless plug there. If you ever want to delete an account, you can also hit this minus button and that will remove the account um, from being an option. And then selecting here, you can see the other options. If you have multiple accounts, you can actually click on this little icon right here or just anywhere and it should open up multiple accounts that you can easily switch to. The status is going to be basically the name that you want to have your stream. So whatever you want the title of your stream to be, you just go ahead and type that in and then hit upload. It's a little upload arrow pointing upwards there. And then you can just um, upload and change that um, that title. Alrighty then. Next is going to be the live commentary section. This is going to be basically, um, you know, for your, your mic input. I do have an external mic here for the blue snowball. Um, but if you are just using the internal mic on your uh, device, you can choose that. If you're wanting to use a webcam microphone, you have that option as well. Uh, these two down here are something completely different uh, that has nothing to do with microphone, but um, you have those options there to choose from. Um, next in the uh, commentary section here, this is gonna be how uh, loud you want to sound to your audience. Keep in mind that if you do have a booming voice, you kind of want to dial back um, some of that, some of that 
some of that from your voice i guess like you know, i don't know it's, you know you might be loud you might be a loud person somebody's like hey you sound too loud you can go ahead and just crank that back a little bit or if you're the exact opposite and you're kind of like me i kind of have a low voice what i can do is i can just boost it all the way up and i can just crank that up all the way to the maximum and we can just get the maximum output out of that one um, but basically you want to find the right balance between you and the game audio so you don't so the game audio isn't overpowering you and vice versa you want to have a good balance with the um, in your any kind of recording or streams but you also have the ability to choose the uh, as like a check mark little box option here for automatically reducing the game sound what this is going to do is as you're actually talking the live commentary section is going to pick that up and slowly just reduce the game audio that way you can be heard a little bit more um, versus from whatever your game audio sounds like. So you can definitely choose that. I personally don't have that on. Um, I prefer just to have everything uh, going like that, uh, going as one. And I can just, you know, if I need to control my game audio vol volume by just turning it down, I'll do that. Alrighty, next is going to be the tag section down here. This section for game is where you're going to... Um, type in the title of the actual game that you're playing once again you just hit that upload button down here and it should upload to your twitch to your youtube to whatever streaming platform that you use uh video title uh this should be the same as um the status up here i'm not sure why that's there but you can also title the video um i believe this might be mainly used for um actually recording video and not streaming so that is for that and then we're gonna go over down here to the record section. So the record section is pretty simple. Um, pretty much all you're gonna do, you have your record option to start, stop recording. And you're just gonna hit that right there and we can get some, some things recorded, some little movements there. And we'll just hit stop recording on that. Next we have the snapshot feature. Basically all this is gonna do is just take a picture of this and it's gonna throw it directly on your desktop so if you take way too many of these you might have a, a whole bunch of pictures on your desktop that you might have to, del uh, to delete later on so be careful don't 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 spam this button all right it's not, it's not good just don't don't do it um the mute option here is basically to mute the volume that's coming from your computer so if you have like external speakers or if it's coming from your like um, your monitor speakers you might want to um, uncheck this because if you are using an external mic i mean you might want to mute this sorry you want to mute that that way um if it is coming from you know your speakers or your mic or your um monitor then your external microphone might pick up that sound you might have like a double audio effect on your streams or on your um in your recording so i leave that on mute i do not unmute that just to avoid that issue from happening next you have the option to actually disable the preview um from my understanding this actually improves your um your cpu usage that would also improve your stream as well since your cpu isn't using the live preview um section to actually show you what's you know what's going on with the stream i personally don't turn that off as i like to have it on so i can see if anybody um subscribes or anything like that i'll get the subscription animation uh showing up there the stream option is going to be well, to start streaming. So basically you want to click this button here when you are ready to start streaming. You'll see this turn into like a, a like an orangish color for a little bit and then it'll go to a bright green and up here in the live streaming section, it will say live. That's how you will know that you are streaming. And for the commentary, this is as simple as um, clicking it on or off to be able to mute yourself or unmute yourself. And as you can see, uh, the levels in my, in my commentary section and the game section, because this game section is more of a overall audio, it's using, you know, live commentary and game audio. So it's going to be monitoring everything. If I'm peeking, you can see it's like completely red over here um, because I'm really close to the microphone. So and the, the fact that this is way up here. So if I were to turn it down now, you can see I'm not peeking anymore. Alrighty, next, uh, we're actually just going to quickly go over the stream command section down here. So the stream command section uh, is basically used for setting up your stream. 
So if you want to be able to, or setting up your stream or setting up your recording, whatever you choose. So if you want to have, let's see, let's just set up, you know, a webcam, right? So we'll set up the razor right here that I have going on. Hello there. How you doing? And once you get that set up and going, it's going to show big like this. Um, what you want to do is you want to grab the corner up here and just drag that down <laughs> let's get that a lot smaller and then that's how you would get that set up to um to just have your webcam displaying you definitely want to just have some kind of if you're using your your laptop's webcam that's perfectly fine as well you can just uh click on this and use the uh, was it facetime hd camera you can just click on that now when i click on that it's going to show my laptop screen is facing down so it's all black um but that's how you would want to set that up just to get a webcam going and as far as an overlay is concerned i personally wouldn't i personally wouldn't do an overlay using one of these i plan on making another video showing you guys how to use things like stream element stream elements to make uh make just a overall better overlay for your stream um and also just figure out the best um, options that you do have with things like overlay expert so be on the lookout for the video. I suggest you subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications because I'm going to be coming up with more content to help you guys with your streams. All right. So with the get scenes option up here, uh, listen, like I said, all right, these aren't the best. Don't judge them. They give you something, you know, this is straight from, this is straight from Elgato. So, uh, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to select one of these. Uh, what's a popular one? I think I saw an Overwatch one. All right. So we're going to click on that. And you saw on there that did say include webcam that was checkmarked. And what this is doing, I mean, there you go. You have your little Overwatch overlay. This is going, this is using a webcam. I'm guessing that uh, that's an application for my Logitech. Uh, so we'll just switch that to the Razer and that should do that there. Um, now, keep in mind that you did see that I was able to do that easily by clicking this button here. If I select Logi, it's going to automatically know that's where the webcam is supposed to go. So it kind of helps you out a little bit. And this automatically shoots over to editing. Um, when you are finished editing, you can hit in editing and that should end it there. But if you ever want to, you know, edit your scenes, you can edit it. You can make things smaller. You can make things bigger. You can move things around, but you can only do that when you are in editing mode. Um, but switching your webcam and things like that actually just automatically shoots it into um, editing mode. So now you can't add any text if you are using a Mac. If you are using any kind of Mac, I'm not sure um, what's taken Elgato so long to add text, um, but you can on a Windows PC. I know. Um, and on a Windows PC, some of these options definitely look different. Like you do have uh, the ability to use desktop audio, which you don't have on the MacBook. Uh, I do use a MacBook for pretty much everything on my streams. Um, so if this, if you do have a MacBook, this video is definitely dedicated to you. If you do have a Windows PC, I would suggest watching another video because your options might be a little different. Alrighty, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe hit the bell to be notified when I drop another video and we'll be back for some more. You guys stay wild out there. Later.